you talk us through the start of Business Chicks? Yeah, so I mean the story goes that um, I started in a little recruitment company when I was 18 and grew that business uh, alongside a business partner for about seven or so years. Mm -hmm. And I got invited to a Business Chicks event and I was like, that's the worst name I've ever heard in my life. That's so derogatory to women. You know, I'm a serious entrepreneur, I'm a feminist, I don't call myself a chick. And my mate was like, you need to get over yourself, you need to come right. along and experience this. So I went along to a Business Chicks event and just absolutely fell head over heels in love with the concept. And, and um, you know, the kind of, I don't know, the, it's a daggy word, but like the energy and the, yeah. it was really kind of the sisterhood before the sisterhood was a thing. You know, there was yeah. people just truly wanting to help each other and mm. there was no, I mean, I didn't feel it. There was no competitiveness there. It was just this beautiful space. So yeah, I, I um, kind of fell head over heels in love with that and ended up buying the business um, after I learned it was for sale a few months later. And, you know, it was all kind of very organic and easy back then. I mean, I feel like I, it was pre-kids. So, um, you know, I was working seven days a week and mm. Um, I had nothing else to kind of distract me. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd never run an event before. I had no clue of how to build community, which is essentially what we've been able to do yeah. quite well. Um, I had no idea about, um, you know, different revenue streams that we've been able to, um, you know, manifest if you like. And so it's, it really has been just a lesson in making it up as we go along yeah. and like being open to that, you know, so not kind of having a set idea of this is where it's got to be and I've got to follow yeah. a, a plan, but really just getting back to that thing of, you know, is it working or is it not working? Yeah. Okay, so it's not working. What mm. do we need to do? Mm. What needs to change? Or you know, this feels kind of good, so we're going to explore that more. And yeah, it, it really was organic back then, but I still feel like we, we still run it like that. Yeah. You know? I mean, obviously we've had to build structure and build discipline and build rigors into the way the business is managed, but really... Because well, it's grown so much, yeah. Yeah. It's quite amazing though, because people I think go, I don't really know how to do that, so I'm just not going to give it a crack. Yeah. Um, but you don't work like that. You're like, I have no fucking idea, I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> Which is incredible, really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it's incredible, but I think that's within all of us. Yeah. I think um, the more you practice that, the easier it becomes. Yeah. And the more comfortable well, you Because really it's it. just fear, right? Like right. anything we don't give a crack that we kind of want to is literally fear. Yeah, it's fear of looking a certain way yeah. that we don't um, you know, feel comfortable with. And yeah. that's been a huge exploration for me over the last couple of years of this whole thing of people feeling like they need to have it all together all the time yeah. and, and present this kind of perfect image that I know what I'm doing and I've got it all together and I'm on the right path and you know don't ever talk about anything apart from it all being wonderful yeah. and that's just I'm just really um I'm kind of sick of that yes. now and I get frustrated with it and I yeah I just get tired of people presenting this front that that everything's great yeah um, yeah and I've just sort of moved moved past that so and do you, is that what you really try to create at your events too? Because it is just a beautiful networking space for women and there are so many different things within business chicks. But is that kind of what you, the feel of what you want is yeah. just for women to, I think also when women get together, they get into a room and the vulnerability is there and they can just drop in. And that's what you create at business chicks where yeah. there's this openness um, to learn and to network, but also, um, a bit of drop the bullshit, like oh, we're all 100%. just winging it. Yeah, you know, 100%. Like, 100%. Mm. I mean, I think for us, it's about how do we create the space for that to flourish. And we are quite prescriptive with that. Like you won't know how we do that, but we are very, very clear. You know, like I'll say to the team before we open doors to an event now, everyone just like take a deep breath and exhale. Like we are here to give people a good time. Yeah. And so if you can kind of start with that culture, there's no stress. It's like we're, we're here to give people a good time. We're here to have people, um, you know, feel like they're safe and feel like they can be who they are. And yeah, there's a lot that goes on in order for us to try and create that and, and hold that space for women. Mm. But it is like a kind of big communal exhale because we all yeah. have to, I mean, you and I have different, you know, workspaces, but for a lot of the women that are members of Business Cheeks, you know, they're doing the nine to five grind. They're going to the 29th floor of an office tower and they're mm. having to be someone who perhaps they're not outside that nine to five and they're having to 
act a certain way and say the right things and they're working within these structures that, that work against women yeah. and so for us to kind of provide that platform to say yeah. you know what mate you can be whoever you want to be yeah. uh, for these couple of hours while yeah. we're together and it just it, that's it's a beautiful thing you know it's yeah. a really it's a real gift that I feel we give to people and, and they return that back to us as well.